Hello, hello, hello. Hello there. Hello, How are you doing? I'm Long great. How about you? <laughs> I am I am at home. Um, um, Chris, uh, I, <laughs> I forget my ideas. <laughs> but you are at home. I mean, you're yeah. not driving, finally. <laughs> it's a miracle. Yeah, so what happened? No traffic? No. I worked I worked uh, um near ah, near from home. Today. Good for you. Nice. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hello guys. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. I can see Nelson too. Nelson, how are you? Really, teacher. I sleeping. <laughs> I know okay. a little tired. Yes. Okay. Yes. So is it raining today too? No, teacher. Okay. Well, I hope that the weather doesn't affect today. All right. Um a lot of okay, let's see. I can see who else is there. Oh, I can see Jamie. Hello, Jamie. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> How was your day? Mm, it was quiet, but right, uh, right now, right now is is little rain. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't affect the connection. Uh, I know, guys, that in many cities of the country is raining right now. Um, so I hope that. Every connection works perfectly during the class. Um, so welcome. I'm happy to see you, everyone. Um, Erica, are you better? Are you improving? How is your health? Tell us. We want to know <laughs> that you are OK. No, actually, I can talk a little bit more. Uh, I don't lost the the OG the OG oxygen oxygen <laughs> the oxygen I can breathe a little bit better. Great. <laughs> it is it actually now I have flu. <laughs> <laughs> Since I received the whole rain from from yesterday at night and was a uh, <laughs> pretty heavy. <laughs> Ay, my goodness, Erika, you had to stay on the bed. <laughs> I have to, but I have to work. <coughs> so, oh I my goodness. Just stop, just stop to smoke. Oh. <laughs> Ay, Erika, you haven't told us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, try to rest. No worries. So, guys, um, remember, this is the last week. And I could see some of you have been working on the platform. That's excellent. And well, some of you uh, already finished and that's great too. Good job. And actually I can see Erika is advancing a lot on the platform. <laughs> so that's even better. Great job. So this is the last week. Remember everybody that we have the final test. Okay, so by Friday, you have to finish everything. I know that some of you already finished um, the units, and that's great. But there are some people that still haven't finished all the units. So please try, please. I'm going to share with you how the platform is going. And I will show you something. Let's see. Okay, can you see the platform that I'm sharing right now? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So, um, if you remember, in the unit number one, uh, there was an exercise, right? That it was like with a mistake and all those things. Do you remember that? Yes. So, to the people who has 96, yo se los llegué al 
a hundred percent. Porque en este caso no era su culpa, right? I mean, it wasn't your fault. It was about the platform. So to those people with 96, I gave you 100, okay? But that is only with the people who has the 96. So here you can see um, in the unit number one, look to the people who has a 96, I put you 100, okay? Because it wasn't your fault. Now, in the unit number four, also you had an issue. No, it was in the unit, I don't remember if three. it was in the unit three, right? That the exercise uh, didn't give you the full amount of points. So that's why most of the people stay with 95. So for the one who has 95, también se los hice llegar al 100, right? Because in this case, well, it's not your fault, right? Ojo, this is only with the people with 95. So si tienen menos de 95, pues así les va a quedar. A ellos no les voy a hacer aumento. Okay, only to the people with 95. También se los hice llegar al 100, porque en este caso, pues... It's not your fault, right? It's, it's basically a mistake of the platform. Understood? Now, question. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't <Why> laugh. I, <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay. Why, why, my, why in the Excel, I have a note in the first unit in the first week? Uh, Ah, in Excel, in Excel. It's, yes, it's because you haven't worked. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and this is and this is what happens, guys. When you haven't worked on the platform, I mean, people can see your profiles and they write a note and says, this person hasn't worked on the platform. Please, you have to tell them. <laughs> and, and, and in my mind, así como que si yo les digo, right? But no hacen caso. <laughs> But that's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a question, another question. In, uh -huh. the, in the week three or the unit three, <coughs> I'm having the same mistake. It doesn't save my answers. And I tried to do it yesterday uh, <coughs> in the afternoon and it doesn't save my answer. And I was trying to write in different ways with the comma, the semicolon, with the quotation marks and I don't know what if it if I'm doing wrong. And what is the number? The what is the number of the exercise? Because we <laughs> can resolve it right now. If I'm not wrong, is a three point five <coughs> with the punctuation marks. Okay, let me see. Ah, is I think that it was the same that we were checking. Yeah, yeah, it is the same because I try it. I try to do it in the afternoon, mm -hmm. but I don't know. This one is, yes, I think that is, yeah, yeah, that is, that is. <laughs> so, guys, as I mentioned uh, before, in this exercise, I recommend you to copy and paste because remember that one letter is wrong, everything will be wrong. So my recommendation is copy and paste. So for example, copy the first part, okay? You copy. First of all, try with the semicolon, space, copy the connector, okay? Um, don't forget to leave the space here. Uh, add again a comma, and then copy the second part. I see, I mean, copy and paste, because if not, maybe you can have a mistake, all right? So copy and paste and then try it. If your answer is incorrect, let's try it with the point. Porque, I mean, remember, we can use both options, semicolon and a point. So instead of the semicolon, let's put the point. Don't forget to add capital letter and the rest of the sentence, leave it as it is. And then you can try. And now the answer is correct. 
because the problem is that if you type it, it will be like, um, you can have one mistake or one letter wrong, and that's why maybe it doesn't accept your answer. Okay. Yeah, I know it, and by, I, I was trying, but it doesn't save my answers. Okay, I tried to copy, paste, write it, change the punctuation marks. And, and when you give that, when you give a send, then it doesn't save it. Really? <laughs> I don't know if it's my internet, but it's the only exercise that I have to, that problem, because with the rest of them, with the, the with the whole of the exercise. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any, any problem. Just just with this specific exercise. And it doesn't it appear... Doesn't give me, <coughs> it doesn't um, give me if it is correct or incorrect answer. Just wow. clean the... the and doesn't the appear any pop-up message, like an error or something? No, just... I just put send or enviar. And... Just nothing up here. If it is wrong or right, I don't know. Just okay. doesn't save it. So I don't know if it is if I'm wrong, if I'm not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. Did anybody else suffer something like that? Or in this exercise? Yes, me too, teacher. That is because I have 84 in so that. When you work. give send, nothing happens. I mean, they doesn't save the answer. I mean, the platform doesn't save it. O le aparece algún pop-up message or something? No? For me, it just doesn't give me the, the answer if it's correct or not. En su caso, <coughs> just me, solo le aparece así como que nothing. <laughs> ni correctas, <laughs> ni incorrect. Yeah, exactly. that's weird. Lucy, how about you? ¿A usted qué le aparece? ¿No, no le califica las respuestas tampoco? No, teacher, it's, it's like uh, the, the problem that uh, Jasmine has. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, well, in that case, guys, leave it as it is. I'm going to report it because, I mean, that's weird. Um, try to complete the rest of the exercises and then move to the next unit. And Well, I can see some of you already finished the unit number four. And now, guys... Um, well, I will check your profiles, okay? So in your profiles, I can see all the exercise that you have done, and I will be checking there if you complete the exercise and if it is a mistake of this platform, I will give you the point. No worries, okay? And don't forget everyone, as I said before, this is the last week, so don't forget to complete the exam. Some of you already finished that exam, and that's great. I can see actually very good scores, but some of you haven't. Okay, so para los que todavía no han hecho el exam, you have to do it. Okay, few people. I have like five people, I guess, that hasn't taken the exam. So don't forget to do it. You have to complete the exam before Friday. Okay, so by Friday, everything has to be done. Okay, if you have issues, let me know so we can see what we can do. All right, now I would like to know why you have the camera off. What happens, everyone? I want to see you. Thank you. I can see some of you already. Please, guys, camera on. Do it. Now, I'm going to check attendance before it's starting. If you listen to your name, say present. Adriana Escalante. Adriana, no? Okay. Um, Carlos Abrego. Present. Very good. Dicen Alexander. No? Um, Erika Yasmin. Present. I'm still alive. <laughs> eh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Um, Germán Durán. Present teacher. Okay. Héctor Francisco. Okay. Um, Isabel Hernández. 
aquí Isabel Hernández. Ok. Iván Guzmán. Present. Ok. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Um, Holman Girón. Present. Ok. Uh, Lucy Natalie. Present, teacher. Ok. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Ok. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Nelson Antonio. Present. Ok. Um, Oscar Armando. Ok, very good. And Rosalina Alvarado. Ok, very good. All right, guys, do you remember the topics that we were studying yesterday? Uh -huh. We're speaking Albert. about. Uh -huh. Okay. Just that. Just that. <laughs> Albers and adjectives. Ah, very good. And do you remember what is the difference between adjectives and adverbs? Adjectives modify nouns. And adverbs modify verbs and other adverbs. Correct. That is the one. So we are going to continue uh, talking about adverbs. So now we are going to see it in a different way. So can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. So today is June 13th. We are in the week five, unit four. This is the topic for today. We are going to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Who wants to read? Me. Thank you, go ahead. Class objective. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Participants will be able to to design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system and use adverbs to qualify verbs. Pretty good, excellent. So we are going to divide the class into topics, right? The adverbs and verbs, and then we are going to work in the inventory management. Okay, let's see if you remember a little bit about the class that we studied yesterday. As your classmate said, adjectives, they qualify, they modify, or give characteristic of the nouns. And the adverbs, on the other hand, they provide or modified a verb, an adjective, or to another adverb. So that is like the difference. Um, I have here the definition. We checked the examples yesterday. So let's start with some exercises. I will show you some sentences and you have to decide if we are going to use the adjective or if we are going to use the adverb, okay? So let me open up the exercise. Oh, this is not the one, give me a second. Okay. Uh, can you see it? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. If I say you have done all your exercises, what do you think? Correct or correctly? Correctly. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay. Let's do it. Let's pretend that this is an exam. <laughs> so later we are going to check if your answers are correct or not. So let's continue. Tom is a bright boy or a brightly boy? A bright boy. So adjective? Yes. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. How about if I say, eh, Laura Winston is a da -da 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 woman. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful woman. Are you sure? Beautiful woman, yes. Okay. Number four, volunteer for reading, please. Teacher, I don't know the pronunciation for this word. Jealous or jealously? Again, baby. Jealous, yeah. jealously. Aha, mm. uh -huh, guys. He looked jealous, jealous at his brother who had just bought a new sports car. Okay, so guys, what do you think? He looked jealous or he looked jealously? Uh -huh. Jealously, in my opinion. Jealous. Jealous. <laughs> For me, okay. jealous. Some of you say jealous, some of you say jealously. Jealously, so. jealously. jealously yes. It's an jealously, yes. Hmm, okay. Later we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. No worries. <laughs> we, are, we are speaking about how he looked. Mm. He, uh -huh, how he looked. He. Okay. No, jealously. Well, we are going to discover it. Okay, number five. I had to solve that issue at once. It was a quick or quickly decision. Quickly? Quick. Quick, quick. quick. quick is quick in my opinion. We are speaking about a noun decision. Mm -hmm. Quick. Quick? Okay. Now, number six, volunteer for reading. Try to speak politely to your uncle. He doesn't bear, bear, or bear. Bear. Bear, rude people. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Politely? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um. Let's continue. Uh, do you know what is the meaning for this verb? I don't. This is like tolerate. Um. So in this case, it's like if we say he doesn't tolerate rude people. Okay. Now, what about this one? Amelia couldn't wait. Patient, patiently. 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 At the doctor's surgery. All right. Number eight, volunteer for reading, please. Only one. Good Good <laughs> okay, Mirna in number nine, uh, Magdalena, please. Go ahead. <laughs> a lot of people are happy because they love their job. Hmm. So, guys, happy or happily? Happily. Happy. 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 No. I think happy. Is, is happily because they are speaking about. Or I don't know. Happy is this happy, <laughs> just happy. Yeah, the bird happy. You know, I people. remember yesterday you talked that the bird happy is an exception, I think that the bird happy. Why, I, I I don't know, but it's happy. <laughs> I think that I, it's happy. A lot of people are happy. Is it is happy because they are speaking about people. The people they are not speaking about 
how the there people is. is maybe i i am confusing actually <laughs> the, the situation is we are speaking about people yeah. they get happy okay yeah. all right all right number nine magdalena you wanted to read yes you want go ahead the situation was was uh, the situation was extreme extremely dangerous so we had to call the emergency service okay do you agree guys extremely yes yes, yes. okay so are we talking about the situation in this case i have a question in this part yes we talk the, about the, the situation hmm. And then it's ex extreme. And eight and nine are similar. Uh -huh. uh, right, teacher? Uh -huh. They and are. Why, why we have different answers? Ah, uh, that is what we are going to discover because we need to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Okay, number 10. Who wants to read the number 10? K. Yes. The K is very tasty. Can you share your recipe? Recipe. Recipe. Thank you. Okay, guys. Tasty or tastily? Tasty. Tasty? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. So, because of the time, we are not going to complete the 15 sentences. We are going to keep just the first 10 sentences. So, are you sure of your answers? Let's imagine that this is your exam. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, we are not. I am nervous. By faith, right? For faith. By faith. By, by faith. faith. <laughs> Okay. Yes, my fate. <laughs> da, 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 da. That is good. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This one doesn't count. Okay, look at this. Wow. All of them oh, oh are correct. God. You see, guys, ya veo que si tienen fe. I like that. <laughs> we are dangerous. <laughs> Uh, okay. no more time. Yeah. <laughs> ah, very good. I like that. Okay, now let's analyze exactly the number eight and the number nine. So what is going on here? Because the sentences are like pretty similar. So a lot of people, in this case, guys, just try to analyze it as you did in Spanish. Can I say, muchas personas están... Felizmente, porque les encanta su trabajo. Does it make sense? No. No, no right? I mean, doesn't make sense. As your classmate said, we are describing people. We are not describing a, an action. We are just describing people. So, what happens in the second one? The situation was... Why do we say extremely and not uh, extreme? I'm talking about the situation. Yes or yes. not? Yes, the situation. But what do I have here? Is that a noun? No, it's an, an adverb. Mm, is an adverb? It's an adjective. Dangerous. It's an adjective. Yeah, an adjective. And what does the rule says? The rule says that an adverb can modify a verb in an adverb in an adjective. Exactly. So basically, we are not describing how the situation is. I'm just modifying the adjective dangerous. Basically, what am I saying here? Que la situación, no estoy diciendo que la situación es peligrosa. Estoy diciendo que es extremadamente peligrosa. So aquí, guys, el adverb, it's modifying the adjective. adjective. Exactly. So that is what you have to keep in mind here. Okay? Remember, 
adjectives modifies only the nouns. <laughs> but the adverb, the adverb can modify another adverb, another adjective, a verb. So that's why the situation is different. But look, you had the correct answers. Nice job. Okay, easy or difficult? Confusing. <laughs> yes, I know. But remember, guys, in the previous the last level... One teacher, sorry, the last one is one for page <laughs> because <laughs> I can see the dangers of that, the situation. We, we analyze that, the, the situation, but not dangerous. That, is it? that is what yeah. you have to be careful with. Remember, guys, um, analyze the position. If you see here, si en lugar de dangerous hubiese estado un noun, imagine just to say it, right? Fire. Fire is a noun. Si antes de fire, ahí sí tuviéramos, habríamos tenido que usar un adjective, right? Ah, a extreme fire. Pero como no es un noun lo que yo tengo antes, sino que es un adjective, that's why we say extremely, all right? So you have to be careful, especially when we have these kind of sentences. Remember the position, guys, okay? Teacher, I have yeah. a doubt. Go ahead. Um, a few months month, or maybe uh, one or two years ago, one friend who worked in, in the airport for American Airlines. <laughs> A lot of details is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He, he said to me, what, when you are speaking about slow, the word is slow, like an adverb, for example, please speak to me. I can't to say it's slow. I have to say slowly yeah uh, how much is, is sure it is totally because remember guys i'm going to write that sentence mm, because that that is in spanish in spanish is despaciamente <laughs> i know but having, remember having that sense i know but remember that Grammar rules in Spanish are different than in English. Okay, we can say, speak slow, please. This is for us in Spanish. Habla despacio, por favor. Yes? Yeah. But in this case, guys, am I talking about the person? Estoy diciendo que la persona es lenta o estoy calificando la forma de hablar? What am I doing here? Modificando la forma de hablar. Exactly. ¿Qué voy a modificar? El verbo. El verbo. ¿Y quiénes, ¿Quiénes modifican el verbo? Los, los adjetivos o los adverbs. The, adver the adverbs. Exactly. That's why we say speak slowly, please. Por eso es que decimos slowly and not slow. I know that for us in Spanish, it's like, it doesn't make sense. But in English, this is the way that we had to do it. Got it? I got it. I confirmed the joy. <laughs> so your friend, <laughs> your friend was right. Okay, okay, let's see. In the chat says, can you please speak speaky? A little bit slow. Okay, in this case, guys... We use a little bit. So that also is possibly. But because in that sentence we use a little bit, a little bit is the adverb. Okay? Entonces ya ahí ya estamos usando un adverb. Ya no es necesario colocar otro adverb para decir slowly. Aunque si ustedes dijeran a little bit slowly... Yes, we can do it, but we already have a little bit. Ya ese es el adverb. Por eso ya no es necesario decir slow or slowly in this scenario. Okay? But the correct one, guys, is could you speak slowly 
or could you speak a little bit slow, please? Or slower, if you are like trying to make a comparison or a comparison, you can say slower, like más lento, más despacio. So we have like different options over there. Understood? Yes? Clear as horchata? <laughs> it's clear so far. All right. Ready for the exam, everyone? Oh, no. Always. Always. Come on, Ivan. What happens? What happened with your faith? <laughs> uh? <laughs> okay, guys. I got here your exam. Okay. In these boxes, I have adverbs and adjectives. You just have to tell me a number. And if you find an adjective, you just have to tell me a sentence using that adjective. For example, if it says happy, okay, give me a sentence using happy. Ah, she was very happy yesterday in the afternoon. Easy. If it is an adverb, Happily, okay, you had to tell me a sentence using happily. Ah, she was smiling happily when she received the gift. That's just an example, okay? Who wants to start? I need a volunteer. By faith, come on. Oh my goodness. I wanna break the ice. All right, thank you. Give me a number, please. Um, 11. Okay. Quietly. Magdaleno, quietly is an adverb or is an adjective? It's an adverb. Okay, cool. Give me a sentence, please. I, I don't remember the means of quiet. Quiet is the opposite of noisy. Okay, it, uh, this exam is, is, um, no. I am trying, I am trying to speak English, but it is not, I know. <laughs> Quietly is the opposite of noisy. What is noisy? Uh-huh. Hey, it's noisy. Run fast. Hmm. It's noisy learn to, to drive. It's noisy to it's noisy to I don't know. If you go to the discotheque, <laughs> that is very noisy, right? And noisy, yeah. So the opposite is quietly. Ah, silence. Ah. Quiet. So? No. He shared, sorry, but quiet is, is we can use quiet uh, when, for example, when the, when the kids is quiet. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is quiet. Oh. When the, the kid is calm or calm. Make a noise or a lot of exactly. a lot of things. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Like for example, if a baby is sleeping, what? the baby is quiet. Okay, I have an example. <laughs> uh, I use quiet. You have to change it for quietly. Go ahead. Okay, All everyone. Right. Everyone in class, in do, in this class, in this in everyone in this class, in this English class, is listening quietly. Ah, very good. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, so don't forget the meaning for this one. Magdalena, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. A victim. Who? Yes, I need to show you my screen. I don't know how I can do that. In my phone, it says, I know. I hope. Just remember. Hey, I'm chat, I'm remember. chat, I'm chat, participant. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Yes, um, Fatima. Fatima is here. Yes, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> okay, Fatima, give me a number. Number one. Okay. Angry. angry. What is angry? Is that an adjective or is that an adverb? Adjective. Okay, give me a sentence, please. Um. Me, Alex. I'm I'm have a little angry. Oh, okay, try it again. I um, I am a little angry. Angry? Ah, I am a little angry. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I heard someone. Herman, it was you? Yes, it's my turn. Oh, excellent. Give me a number, please. Five. Five, okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Nervously. Is that an adjective or an adverb? Adverb. All right, give me a sentence. Uh, I, I will try um, uh, um this situation is nervously um, I don't mm. know <laughs> <laughs> all right if you say nervously Mm, that's for that specific sentence. Imagine if you say this situation is nervously. We cannot say that because in that scenario we are describing the situation. We need the adjective. Unless you add another adjective over here. But it's a shame. Change it. You can change it. Try no, it no. Nervously, nervously shame. Shame. Mm, no. Like this? Yes. Okay, but what will be the translation? La situación es... Mm, oh, ne eh, nerviosamente... Apenado. <laughs> Not really, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense. So, change it. Instead of talking about the situation, talk about an action. Mm. For example, when you are nervous, <laughs> how do you speak? If you are in front of a lot of people, how will you speak? Um, very slowly. Slowly or? or? Nervously. Ah, so we can say uh, he speaks nervously. El habla nerviosamente, right? And we can add in front. In front of you. In front of people, in front of you, in front of the girl, all right? So in this scenario, we are describing the action, okay? Yes. Pretty good. Describing the bird. Exactly. I'm not describing a person. I'm describing the action, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Herman, can you pick someone, please? Petrovich. Thank you. Aha, by faith. I don't, I don't know who is Petrovich. Ah, come <laughs> on. Do it. Give me a number. Don't be afraid. Okay. Number six. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ah, easy. Polite. Polite is an adjective or is that an adverb? Adjective. Correct. Give me a sentence, please. I don't know meaning polite. Polite. 
Polite. Okay, polite is a synonym of respectful. They are synonyms. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. same as respectful. <laughs> okay, if a person always says good morning, thank you, please. Uh, if the person always says good words, that person is very educate, right? Mm. So that is the meaning of polite. Understood? Yes? Yeah, yes. Okay, go ahead. Polite. Ay, teacher. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Mm, no, no, no. No le All right. So ask a volunteer to help you. Who is going to help you? Pick someone. Mm, and... <laughs> Only one, okay. come on. Um, eh, Erika. All right, Erika, can you talk? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help him. Give me an example using polite. Okay. Um could be he talked very politely with the consumers. Okay, that's a very good example, but remember that you use the adverb and I have an adjective. I'm sorry, you're right. He, <laughs> he used to talk polite with the customer. Mm, okay, I'm going to write it. He used to talk polite, like this. So, guys, what is the translation of polite? Do you remember? Amable. Educado, mm -hmm. yes. In this case, si yo digo politely, what is the translation? Educadamente. Ah, uh -huh. so if I say he used to talk, am I describing the person or the action? Action. The, the action. action. So I have action. to say politely. In this scenario, yo necesito usar polite. So what could be a, a, a sentence using polite? I'm sorry, didn't follow the idea. No, I, I, I got it. Okay, go ahead. He is so polite with the customer. That's right? it. Keep it simple. He <laughs> is so polite with the customers that's all easy so remember adjective is describing the noun okay now guys this is a topic that you need to practice a little bit more i know that is difficult yes but the idea is to use correctly the words because if we don't know how to use the words we will introduce in the words, like when we say in Spanish, como caiga, right? <laughs> y ahí estamos haciendo una gran ensalada, y es por eso que las personas no nos entienden. Okay? So, it is important to identify if we have a subject, if we have a noun, if we have a verb, or if we have an adverb. And we need to identify the function and how we can use them. So be careful with that. All right, who's next? Who wants to try? Anyone else? 
Me. Ah, Thank Adriana. you. Excellent. Give me a number, please. Number seven. Okay. All right. Quiet. quiet. So we already checked quietly. So now you have quiet. Go ahead. Um, quiet is an adjective. Yes. Um, we must be quiet in class. All right. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, we must be quiet. In this case, guys, we are talking about we. ¿Cómo tenemos que estar? Quiet. Calm. Silent. Okay? Pretty good. Adriana, pick okay. someone, please. Um, oh, caray. Um, Nelson Antonio. Thank you. Nelson, give me a number, please. Number 12. Okay. All right. Slow. Slow is the adjective or is the adverb? Adjective. Correct. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, teacher, speak. Mm, no. Give me a second. The teacher speaks slow. Mm. But am I describing the teacher or am I describing the way that she speaks? Okay. Yeah, maybe she is a slow. Simple. Yes. She is slow. slow. So what am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? What am I saying? She's slow. Ella es silenciosa. Mm. Yes, Lenta. Lenta. Ella es lenta, right? ¿En qué aspecto? I don't know. I just say that she's slow. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering if I, I, I could say she's slow to speak, but I don't know if it's correct sentence. Mm, she's slow to speak. What happens, guys, is that in this scenario, that sounds like a literal translation from Spanish into English. So, ella es lenta para hablar. It makes sense. You can do it, but in that case, sounds like a literal translation. The best option is just she speaks slowly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so. You're welcome. Okay, uh, Nelson. Pick someone, please. Who's next? Holman. I don't know if there. I think he is. Holman, are you there? Yes. Give me a number, please. Um, four. Four? Yes. Okay. Easily. Is that an adverb or is that an adjective? Adverb. Correct. Give me a sentence, please. Mm, let me. Uh, thank you. Uh, um. My boss do the work so uh, easily. Is Eas easily? Yes, very good job. That's correct. If you see in that case, am I talking about my boss or the way that he do he does the job? Uh huh. Am I describing my boss or the action, the job? My boss or the job? 
We are describing the action. He says that he does the job easily. Okay, nice, pretty good job. Okay, because of the time, uh, we cannot continue, but imagine guys that this is your speaking evaluation. Did you pass the speaking evaluation? Okay. Yes? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Traspaditos, right? So you... <laughs> <Neither rush. laughs> ah, so we need to continue practicing. Okay, I know that is difficult, but guys, ya hemos enfrentado temas difíciles antes y lo hemos logrado. Okay, so remember that we can do it. There is nothing impossible. Okay, now. Um, we already talked how we can modify nouns, how we can modify some adjectives. When What happens when we want to talk about the verbs? Just remember, guys, that in this scenario, we can modify the adverbs. Most of the adverbs, you just need to add L, Y. Okay? You have the adjective. The adjective, for example, is slow. If you want to transform the adjective into an adverb, you just need to add ly, slowly. Now, what is the function of the adverb? I need a volunteer for reading, please, this concept. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Use adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, how much, or uh, to what degree. They qualify the actions and the claims we make. Thank you. So remember, an adverb can qualify another adjective, but also it can qualify the action. It can tell us when the action happens. It can tell us where, why. It can tell us how often. Remember, frequency, those are adverbs too. It can tell us the degree. Cuando hablamos de degree, nos referimos a la intensidad de una action. So, cuando decimos, eh, extremely fast, too slowly, so uh, beautiful, so fast. Those are adverbs of degree. So we have different type of adverbs, okay? Now, remember that if we are using ly at the end, what is the translation? Mente. Exactly. Like when we say in Spanish, mente. Okay? So that is an easy way to identify the adjectives from the adverbs. For example, efficient, that's the adjective. What is the adverb? Efficiently. Efficiently. I have accurate as an adjective. What is the adverb? What else? Well, accurately. Accurate. So imagine if I say careful, what is the adverb? Carefully. Carefully. That's the one. So um, I have some sentences here. We have to complete it. You have to decide, please analyze the sentences to see what the correct answer is. Imagine in the number one says, Peter is careful or carefully? What is careful? Think? Careful. A careful driver. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay. He drives very carefully Thank or you. very careful? Carefully. 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 Okay, look at the difference in the sentence. In the number one, what am I saying? ¿A quién estoy describiendo en la number one? 
Peter. I'm talking about Peter, right? And in the next sentence, what am I describing? The way and the way by he drives. Exactly, the way he drives. ¿Y cómo maneja él? Carefully. Él maneja very... Exactly. So, that is the difference. Be careful. Okay, number two. Turtles walk slow or slowly? Slowly. 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 Ah, Okay, turtles walk slowly because they are slow or slowly animals. Slow. Slow animals. Okay, so en la primera, ¿qué estoy diciendo? I'm talking about the action, the way that the turtles walk. And in the other one, I'm describing the type of animals that they are. Now, number three, a cautious person or a cautiously person? A cautious, a cautious person. Okay, do you agree, guys? Yes. A cautious person usually speaks... Cautiously. Cautiously. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in cautious? I don't know. Precaution. <laughs> Precaution. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like mm -hmm. with a lot of care, with a lot of, you know, Is captions. That... Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Look in the first sentence, I'm describing the person. That's why I need an adjective. And in the second sentence, I'm describing the action. Number four, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Yes, go ahead. They are quiet. Okay, they are quiet. They are speaking quietly. They are speaking quietly. Nice. So pay attention in the differences. Identify when we are talking about the person or the noun and when we are describing the action. Now, I will be asking individually. Let me start with, uh, let's see. Okay, Lucy, can you tell me the number five, please? Gordon plays very good. He's a... Uh, oh. Very well, sorry. Gordon plays very well. He is a good player. All right, that is the one. If you see in the first one, we are talking about the play, the verb. Excellent. Okay, the next sentence is for uh, Holman, number six. <laughs> Uh -huh. He did um, a bright, uh, bright, bright, brilliant, brilliant, a brilliant exam. And the other one? Brilliantly, brilliantly. All right. Do you agree, guys? He did a brilliant exam. He passed the exam brilliantly. Yes? Yes. yes. It's yes. correct. Very good. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the next one. Jamie, continue, please. Number seven. We have, um, let's see.
heavily heavy. Heavy. Okay. We had heavy snow. Heavy. Uh, we have heavy snow yesterday. Is no heavily. Heavily. Yes, yes, pretty good. Exactly. Nice job. Next one. Uh, Nelson, continue with the number eight. He look at he look at me angrily. Angry or he, angrily? Angrily. Okay. He is a very angry look. He has a very angry look. Uh -huh, guys, do you agree? Yes, yes, I agree. Totally, very good. Ah, I think that you will pass this exam. Okay, the next one, uh, let me ask to Isabel Hernandez. Are you there? Number nine, please. Okay, I think that Isabel is not there. Okay, Fatima, help him, please. Me? Yes. We slept um, comfortably. Comfortably? Yes. Okay. In our comfortable Bed. Comfortable? Yes. All right, everybody, what do you think? Yes? It, it sounds good, actually. Mm -hmm. Remember, in the first one, I'm describing the verb. In the second one, I'm describing a noun. In this case, my bed. And the last one, he plays... Everybody, badly, badly or bad? Bad. Badly. badly. Okay, because he is bad a bad player. A bad player. Hmm. Okay. Are you sure about your answers? Yeah. By by faith again. By faith again. <laughs> again. Yes, again. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Oh my goodness, everybody, all your answers were correct. Pretty good job. So you see, you are improving. Excellent. So um, I think, guys, that when you read a sentence, you can identify the answer. I think that the difficult for you is to create a sentence. Cuando yo le digo, inventense una oración, ahí es donde siento yo que it's like... Ah, and I know that it's not because you don't know. It's because I guess that all the ideas goes away, right? Yes, it's true. And the grammar teacher. I know. I know that in that moment you forget everything. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Now, is it clear the difference between an adjective and the adverb? Totally clear. Okay. Everybody? How about the verbs and the noun? Is it clear the difference? It's, it's clear, teacher, but it's a little difficult to remind. I know. I know, I know. So that is what we have to be careful with. Now, we are going to imagine that you are doctors. Okay? <laughs> we are going to have a dissection, guys. So imagine that you are doctors, surgeons. Are you ready? Yes? All right. Yes. 
<laughs> Only one says yes, guys, be ready. Okay, look at this, what we are going to do. I have a picture over here. We are going to identify nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, okay? Look at this picture. What nouns can you identify in the picture? For example, dog. Dog is a noun, yes or no? Yes. 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 Can you identify another noun? He. He, yes. The grandpa. <laughs> Instead of he, we can say grandpa. Mm -hmm. The little boy. A little boy. Or child or kid. Or child, kid. What else? The beer. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else? The trees. Good. Trees. All of those are nouns. Man, boy, dog, bird, jungle, old man, grandpa, little boy. All of those are nouns. So, si yo tengo un adjective, el adjective tiene que hablar de ellos. Understood? Now, let's identify yep. the verbs. What verbs can you see in this picture? Playing. Playing play. or play. Okay, sounds good. Walked. Walk, yes. Looking. Unlock. Look. What is the other one? Yes, looking. It's the same. Uh -huh. Yes. Look at the boy. What is the boy doing? Run. Run. Uh -huh. So those are verbs. Okay. The adverb is going to describe the verbs, not the noun, okay? Be careful. Now, what adjectives can you identify in this picture? Adjectives. Angry. Angry. <laughs> yeah, right, look at him. <laughs> yeah. What else? Happy. Happy. Mm -hmm. Could be a scare because the girl. Yes, we can say that. Scared. Oh, Which one? Surprising. Surprised. Yes. So those are adjectives. ¿A quién dijimos que iban a describir los adjectives? No. Alone. 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 Nouns. So, they will be together. Okay? So, I can say, ah, I have a very colorful bird. Ah, the jungle is green. The man is old ah there is a little boy i have a brown dog that is the perfect combination i cannot combine adjectives and verbs for example yo no puedo decir ah the look is colorful can i say that Ah, they all is walk. No, right? Ah, the little run. Or he runs little. We cannot combine them. 
Okay, I cannot combine adjectives with the verbs. The correct combination is adjectives with nouns. Understood? Yes? Yes, I get it. Okay, now, if I have verbs, the verbs can be combined with adverbs. So, the dog holds happily. Ah, the boy runs. Can I say the boy runs quick? Quickly. Ah, we had to say quickly because quick is the adjective. Okay. ¿Cómo camina o cuál es la forma de caminar? In the picture. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly is the adverb. Okay. Uh, then we have downward. Do you know what is downward? I don't know. A uh, downward um. is the when you mention the direction. In this case, hacia donde está mirando el pajarito. Look, is so, downward. What is that? Asia? Exactly. So remember, we have different type of adverbs. They can indicate the place, the way, the frequency, everything. So we cannot combine adverbs with nouns. Yo no puedo decir, ah, the man is slowly. Can I say that? The man is slowly. Mm -mm, I can't. Porque recuerden que los adverbs no modifican los nouns. Right? Puedo decir, the boy is quickly. What do you think? Can I say that? No. No. No, right? no we can't. We cannot do that. Because remember, adverbs doesn't describe nouns okay so this is a way that we can combine them remember the perfect combination is um nouns with what do you think verbs adjectives or adverbs adjectives, adjectives. that's the perfect combination okay the other perfect combination is verbs with Adverbs. Adverbs. Exactly. So that is the combination. Understood? Mm -hmm. Yes? Teacher. Is it difficult? Yes? You can repeat a well combination. What, what combination we, we can use? The ones that we can use is nouns with adjective. You can do it. That's okay. a perfect combination. Nouns with adjectives. The other combination that you can use is verbs with adverbs. Okay, so remove the nouns. We got verbs and adverbs. We can combine them, right? The ones that we can't combine is, if you are talking, guys, about nouns, no podemos usar un adverb para describir un noun. That is not possible. Remember the rules. Los adverbs pueden describir o pueden afectar, pueden modificar un adjective, un verb, or another adverb, pero nunca a un noun. Okay? So that combination mm -mm, is not possible. Al igual que un adjective, no puede describir a un verb. No se puede. 
right? Los adjectives solo pueden describir a un noun. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Thank you. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Pretty good. Okay, guys, any questions so far? Yes. No, teacher, I don't have anyone. Not yet. Maybe during the exam. <laughs> yes, just them. Yours oh, and the exam. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And you guys, do you have any questions so far? Yes? No? No, teacher. Just need practice. Yes, absolutely. So remember, actually, guys. Uh -huh. Actually, it's easy. Just need practice. That's it's it. Easy. We need practice, a lot of practice. We need, actually. But you know what, guys? There are a lot of websites that you can use, but more than using those websites, I want you to try to create your own sentences, all right? I need you to try to develop your ideas. So my recommendation is write the sentences. And you can say, okay, voy a usar el adjective angry. Write a sentence using that adjective and then change it. Okay, ya tengo la oración con el adjective. Now I'm going to create a sentence using the adverb. What is the adverb of angry? Ah, I think that is angrily. Perfect, create the sentence using angrily. That's the way that you will improve. Got it? Yes? Got it. Five. Excellent. <laughs> you can do it, guys. No worries. I know that it is not impossible by faith. Okay? By faith. You can do it. All right. Let's relax a little bit. Los veo así como un poquito estresados, right? Are you stressed, guys? Yes? A little bit? Just, just a little bit for, by, uh, for the word. Work. Uh -huh. Work for... Emily, for a lot of things. We're stressful <laughs> and tired. Yeah, I imagine that. Okay, let's just stop thinking about the adverbs. Okay, let's relax a little bit. Let's talk about something about a little bit different. Okay, let's just start talking about the relevance of an effective inventory management. And no worries, guys, during this week, we will continue discussing the adverbs and the adjectives and verbs. So we are going to have more practice, no worry about it. Okay, so I have some questions for you. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first question, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Okay, Fatima and the next one, Lucy. Okay, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock. Mm. So guys, we already checked the vocabulary. We already know what is the meaning of stock. We are talking about the inventory management. So how can I calculate the right amount of amenities or the right amount of uh, merchandise? What do you think? How do I calculate that? Any idea? Actually, I don't understand the question. Imagine that you are a manager. Uh, continue thinking about the warehouse. Imagine that you are a manager and you know, guys, we were talking about the expiration dates. Do you remember the products with expiration dates? Yes, I do. So imagine we need to be careful with the merchandise. So I need to calculate, right, all the products that I have in stock. So I need to have an inventory so I can determine when I need to buy more product when I need to restock my warehouse, 
or if I need to stop buying new merchandise. But how can I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? What do you think? In the same line with your explanation, we can calculate that just looking looking at uh, the sales, depending how much, uh, depending the amount the clients or the customers needs. Mm, okay. The demand. The demand. The demand. Cool. Yes, it's a. I think so. Uh, the depend the demands the the company the is customer. Excuse me. Ah, exactly. That's another idea. Pretty good. Now let's see the second sentence. Uh, Lucy, can you read it, please? How do I determine the right price for my inventory? Thank you. So imagine, can we change the prices of my products? Yes, no, how can I determine the price? What do you think? The I price think so the, the determines the price, uh, the cost, the cost of products, mm -hmm. plus uh, the, the, the percent benefits, uh, the, the invest, investments. Ah, okay. So basically, guys, you need to calculate how much the product is, how much money you are investment investing, I'm sorry, and the profits that you want to get. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what else? In this in this case, teacher, if you are de determining the price of a product, you have to take in mind the not only the the amount that you are invest, you have to take in mind, having mind. Keep, keep in mind. Keep in mind. You have to keep in mind the other, the other things, for example, the package, OGs, the electric, the electricity, and I don't know, delivery, Ah, uh, very good. I have all of them because if you don't uh, keep in mind that you you are wrong because you you will uh, will uh, lost money. Exactly, you have to consider also, guys, the expenses, right? All the costs that you have, as your classmate said, right? You have to pay bills. You had to pay for the local that you have. Those are expenses. And yes, you have to consider them too. So why am I asking these questions? These questions are related to the topic that we are going to study today. Effective inventory management. Okay. So let's see a conversation. I have Susan and Jorge, they are talking about the basics on how to keep an organized inventory system. I will need some volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me, Adriana. Thank you, Adriana. Who else? Oh my gosh, guys, come on, let's read. Who wants to read? Okay, okay. Thank you, Ivan. Okay. Ivan, you will be Jorge. Adriana, you will be Susan. This conversation is on your manual in the page 35. Let me open up in the manual so you can see it a, a little bit bigger. Can you see the conversation? Yes. yes. Okay, pretty good. Ivan, you start. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system 
is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really get much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the package, but labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accordingly in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. All right, thank you guys. So what is happening here? What is the problem that Jorge is having? What do you think? What's the problem about? The problem is a uh, bad, uh, bad inventory. Ah, and why? Why does he have issues with the inventory management? Uh, he, we, no, they, they are, they are no, no implement, implement, implement inventory management systems okay what else what is another reason why he has some issues with the inventory management let's see if you paid attention to the reading guys uh-huh do you think that is he, that he is very organized with the information with the inventory? No, this is the problem that they have in the management that they don't have a management system for the inventory and your warehouse. Or... Basically, he what, where does he keep the information of all their products, about their inventory? Where? Uh-huh. If you see, In they just paper? Yes. Paper. <laughs> it's like he take a piece of paper and write it. Then he needs to take more information. He takes another piece of paper. So that is not organized. What is the advice that Susan provided? Susan recommend that she spread she's a record notes. And what is the meaning of a spreadsheet? Expression is a. Uh, uh, I look at some of in Excel, Microsoft. Exactly. Excel. Yes, it's like an Excel program. So if you use Excel, I mean that is very organized. You can have all the information there. Excellent. So I imagine, guys, is this a good idea to use a spreadsheet? Yes, of yes. course, if you don't have a system, it's the best. Definitely. Except. Exactly. So this is one of the tips if you want to have a good inventory management. Pretty good. Now, um, we are going to read about four tips if you want to have another invent a good effective inventory management. I have here the tips. The first one says, make a plan and then execute. Use multiple vendors, consistent, constant communication, create compliance policies. And I have different definitions over here. So I want you to match the tip with the definitions. So make a plan and then execute. So what is that? What do you think? Hmm, let's read the definitions. Remember keywords, try to check the keywords.
So what do you think? What could be the definition for make a plan and then execute? Second teacher. The second one. If you have a high selling item that's difficult to keep in stock or are planning a promotion that will significantly increase demand, it often makes sense to commission a second vendor for the product as a backup plan. Hmm, do you agree guys? What do you think? It makes sense, teacher. It makes sense? Okay. Mm, it is possible because um, is uh, speaking about planning, planning a promotion and something like that. Mm, okay. But look, it's also talking about vendors. Hmm. And I have used multiple vendors too. Mm. Hmm. Uh, maybe as multiple vendor because in at the end is speaking about if if often makes sense to commission a second second vendor and then is is uh, explaining about two or more vendors. Mm could be all right we are going to identify and resolve this matching okay so i will give you five minutes to everyone so guys read carefully the definitions and we are going to match the tips with the definitions you got five minutes read carefully identify the keywords that's the secret and then i will be asking individually Okay, just to see if you had the correct answer. Do you have five minutes? If you have a question about the, uh, the vocabulary, just let me know and I will help you. Go ahead. Teacher was many fulfillment in the paragraphs uh, three. Okay, in the paragraph three. Yeah, this our purchasing team understands when I have much product to buy. Your fulfillment. Oh, fulfillment. Okay, fulfillment. Ful yes, fulfillment, guys, is satisfaction. Yes, so in this case, mm -hmm. your fulfillment providers is like the satisfaction of your providers, or when you want to say like reach, como cumplimiento, la realización, la satisfacción, things like that. That is fulfillment. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, if you have a question, yeah. just let me know. Teacher, in the end of the first paragraph, is the word adhere at the end? Yes. What does mean? What does mean this word? Adhere. What does this word mean? Okay, the meaning of adhere is like add. When you add information, for example, when you add extra product. So this is like when you put together and you add more. This is like in Spanish. Aderir. So. Aderir. Mm -hmm. okay. Aderir. It's like unir, aderir, um, sumar, right? That is the one. And the pronunciation is? Adir. Adir.
Read carefully, everyone. Remember, comprehension. The idea is to identify the keywords. I want to everybody try to do it because I will be asking individually, all right? And I will start asking to the ones who has the camera on, I mean, the camera um, off. Teacher. Yes? Compliance. What does mean? Where is that? Number four. Number four in the beginning. Oh, compliance? I cannot see it. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, what what happens is that I'm not I'm not sure if you are pronouncing it correctly. That's why I like to see the words. Uh huh. In which paragraph? Okay. Yes. Ah, the number... in the T uh -huh. number four. I'm yes, sorry. I was four. searching. Okay. In, mm -hmm, compliance, guys, is imagine that I give you a homework and you did the homework. What is the meaning of that? Que cumplieron. Cumplimiento. Exactly. So that is the meaning of compliance. Política de cumplimiento. Create. Exactly. In this case, guys, remember what will be the translation? Create policies, compliance. Mm, Políticas de cumplimiento suenan así como weird. <laughs> right? So in this case, podríamos decir, crear políticas. Um, para cumplir o crear cumplimientos a las políticas. In that, that could be like similar translation of that. In this case, the tip, what it's trying to say is, A, hey, you need to create some policies. Okay, necesitamos crear políticas que se cumplan. That is the meaning for that tip. Mm. Okay. Two more minutes. You ready or not yet? Read carefully, everyone. Read carefully. If you have a question, just let me know. You ready? Yes? No yet? No, not yet, teacher. No, no, no. Okay. It's very confused, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's because you are intermediate. You are about yeah. to move to the next level. That's why it's difficult. We need to increase the difficulties in the exercise. Read carefully, read carefully. As always say, keywords, right? So for example, if in the number one, what is the tip number one talking about? Hmm, it's talking about to make a plan. For me, that's the keyword. In the number two, multiple vendors. Okay, vendors. Consist, constant, communication. Okay, for me, the keyword is communication. And in the last one, create compliance policies. Okay, policies. For me, that's the keyword. Okay, let's search a paragraph that is talking about making a plan. Then let's see a paragraph that is talking about vendors. Which paragraph is describing communication 
And which paragraph is talking about policies, rules, laws? That's the way that I will do that. I'm finished, teacher. Excellent, very good. You guys, you ready? I am ready. Excellent. Um, and you guys, the rest of you? How, 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 do you, how do you say a pesar de ti? I am ready a pesar de even though uh, I am ready even though I am not sure in the last one. Mm, no worries, we are going to find it out. But by faith. Okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Everyone, you ready? Yes? Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Excellent. That's the attitude. <laughs> okay, we are going to verify the answers, but before that, I'm going to check attendance again. So, guys, you know what to do. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. All right. Carlos Abrego. Present. Excellent. Christian Alexander. Present, teacher. All right. Erika Yasmin. All right. Um, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Germán Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Hector Francisco. Okay. Uh, Isabel Hernández. Present, miss. Very good. Um, Iván Guzmán. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present, present. All right. Holman Giron. Present. All right. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Um, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. All right. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. I see in the chat. Pretty good. Okay. Now, guys, let's continue. Let's verify if your answers are correct or not. I will be asking individually, but let's see with the ones with the camera off. So let me ask to... Ivan, of course. <laughs> Ivan, make a plan and then execute. What do you think? What is the definition for that one? It's, uh, um, okay. And the second paragraph, did you have a high silent? Mm, okay. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Everyone? Yes? No? Do you have For any me, other idea? I'm sorry, Nelson? For me, it's the first one. Is the first one standard operating procedures? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the rest of you guys? Hi, teacher. For me, it's number three. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Mm -hmm. all, all, all the paragraphs. Number yeah. <laughs> For me, it's number three. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Team. Okay. For me, it's number two. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it's very confusing. It's oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> this is like in the mask in the middle, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, again, we are making a plan. That mm -hmm. is the key word. Okay? Why do you think is the third one, for example? What makes you think that is the third one? Mm -hmm. mm. Or what makes you think? That is the second one. ¿Qué palabras encontraron en la third one or in the second one que les hizo pensar que esa, that that's the correct answer? Sir, I think it's the second one mm -hmm. because our planning and promotion for increase the demand. Okay, so in that case, look, Fatima has a point. They are planning, okay. Mm -hmm. In my sure. case, teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. In my case, I think it's number three because make a plan is and then execute is when you know or understand how, how do you do when you buy, when you film it, or when provides no, when to prepare additional warehouse. So, yes, it's, it's a plan for me. I understand uh -huh. that this is a plan and anticipate increase so that, volume. I understand that this, this is when you start making a plan and then execute the plan that you have. Mm, it, it makes a lot of sense. Hi, uh -huh, everybody. Who gives more? I agree with Mirna. Okay. Who's next? Any other idea, uh -huh. guys? I am fries. <laughs> My goodness. Aha, uh -huh, Magdaleno, which one do you have in the number one? Teacher, my trouble, my trouble was I answered the four, three, and two. And the last one, one. <laughs> the last one was yeah. the number, the number four. Okay. And then, so for like us. Meant, Please. La que me sobró, <laughs> la que me sobró was the number one, a good relationship with your vendors. <laughs> and, and then I am confused and I am wrong in every one, maybe. <laughs> okay, I know that is difficult, guys. But because, remember, you are about to move to the next level. Ya no les puedo poner readings así como bien the basics, right? Now, come on, <laughs> guys. Uh -huh. In the second one, I understand create a plan because will increase the demand. Okay. For future, for a future. The situation okay. is in the second, you are speaking about high selling, and then you yes. are you are speaking about commission for vendors, and it's then you you are speaking about vendors ah. yes it's, the second is use multiple vendors i think okay now i will give you the first answer Ta -ta -ta -ta. yes mm -hmm. <laughs> okay make a plan what mirna was saying guys is true imagine if i say guys i want to learn english so what is the plan that i need to follow so when you think make a plan is describe steps that you need to follow and then execute, I mean, and then do it. In the number one, I'm talking about, okay, I need to create a plan. What is the plan? Okay, I need to know, I need to understand when, how much product do I need to buy? I need to know when, to prepare additional warehouse space. I need to uh, anticipate the increase called volume and everything is very organized. All the information that I need is over there. So that is my plan, okay? So for the ones who pick this one, 
you already have one point. Very good. Now, in the number two, I'm talking about multiple vendors. So that is the keyword. Okay, which paragraph do you have here? The second one. The second one. Second. The second one? Do you have yes. any other idea, guys? So I, I, I don't know if it's a standard operating procedures, the number one. Okay. So some of you think that is the number two, some of you think that is the number, uh, the first paragraph. Any other idea? The second paragraph, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because ah. in number four, you say create compliance policies and then in the, the number one, you say develop policies. 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 I mm. think this is the number four. This is the reason. That, okay. That I, did. <laughs> I have that. Mm. Okay. Okay. So number two, if you have a high selling item, mm, is that your final answer? Are you totally sure? And in, 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 <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I think it's the last one, but maybe don't. I go to the hell with Fatima. <laughs> Number four, the, the last one. A good relationship with your vendors. Okay. So I think that in this moment is like, ya, yeah, teacher, ya, yeah, este punto, yeah. ya. <laughs> Everything is wrong. Okay, look, uh, multiple vendors. Think about it. What happens when I have multiple vendors? What do I need to do? And this is another tip. Guys, as, estamos hablando de tips. Don't forget that. Me están dando recommendations about how to have, I mean, how can I have a good inventory management? Entonces, uno de los tips me está diciendo, hey, you need to have yeah, guys, multiple manage. vendors. So, ¿qué significa tener multiple vendors? Significa que if you have high selling items, es decir, si tengo mucho producto, que se me hace difícil guardarlo o almacenarlo, what do I need to do? I need to have second vendors for backup. What is the meaning of backup? What is that? The translation is respaldo. Exactly. ¿Por qué me, me están dando el consejo de tener multiple vendors? Porque si en dado caso, mi principal comprador, right, no puede obtener mi producto y tengo el gran montón ahí en mi warehouse, ah, it doesn't matter because I have more options that they can have my product. A eso se refiere el tip de multiple vendors. Is it clear? Yep. Yes. ¿Tiene sentido ahora? Does it make sense now? Yes. yes. Ah, very good. What happens, guys? Y eso es lo que estoy identificando ahorita. And be careful with this. Cuando les digo keywords, no siempre significa que van a ver la palabra. Por ejemplo, make a plan. Ah, yo voy a buscar donde diga plan. Mm, it doesn't work like that. So be careful. Ah, multiple vendors. Voy a buscar la palabra que diga vendors. I mean, to search the keywords, it's not only that. Be careful. Okay, consistent. Yes, do you have a question? No, just uh, it's for the question of time. Oh, yes, guys. <laughs> we have one minute. Okay, consistent. Oh, consistent. I, I, I mean that when we have to resolve that topic, Ah, few times, you say. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. Next time I will try to give you more. <laughs> no worries. No problem, teacher. No problem. <laughs> okay, if I'm talking about communication, 
Ok, guys, this is a tip. Me están diciendo que yo debo tener una constante communication. Constante communication. ¿Qué se les viene a la mente? Think about a relationship. Relationship, the last one. Relationship. The last one. Ah, uh, so. The last one. The last one. Dollary. Ah, ahora sí, right? It makes sense. <laughs> ah. So, this is like a marriage. The last one is the last one. <laughs> And create policies. Cuando hablamos de policies, me están diciendo, hey, crea tus propias políticas, right? Políticas que te van a ayudar en el proceso. So, which is the one that is talking about policies? Pressure. Look. So, I need a standard operating procedures. Necesito procesos estándares, right? That everybody has to follow. Necesito esas policies que me van a guiar tanto con los vendors, con los merchandisers, para satisfacer, right? O cumplir everything that I want. Okay? Is it clear now the definitions? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Let me take a screenshot, please. <laughs> Do it, no problem. So guys, reading comprehension, that's the key. Um, no es que solo, ah, sí, aquí dice plan, voy a buscar la palabra plan. Mm, it doesn't work like that. And don't forget, estamos hablando de tips. Okay, let's analyze what is the tip that they are recommending. Okay, do you take the screenshot? Yes? Yes, thank yes. you. Yes. Excellent. Okay, guys, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So no worries. We are going to continue tomorrow. Do you have any questions before leaving? No, teacher. No. Thank you. All right. Don't forget to thank work you. on the platform because this is the last week. Before Friday, everything has to be done. Okay? <laughs> so everybody, thank you so much for being in the class. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.